Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Welcome, welcome. Hey, you want to make a fun, cute little bookmark that is actually utilitarian at the same time? Let's do it. Let me show you how. Here is prototype. Okay. All right, so this is what she looks like. And she has some, yes, she has liquid pearls on the surface. I don't know if you can see those, but they are there. And I just did a, a little, uh, fabric topper here, a little thread and uh, sari silk topper. And she's held, okay, so it looks like an innocent little bookmark, right? Well, haha, she opens up. How cool is that? And the reason why she opens up, she opens up twice here and here, revealing two columns of potential writing space. And you're saying, why do I need writing space inside a bookmark, Pam? That is just crazy town. Well, maybe you are reading a book and on page 47, you found the best quote ever and you want to write a little note to yourself, page 47 quote, or uh, page uh, 39, interesting thought, page uh, 27, need to explore more on this topic. I mean, you could write cool little things to yourself. And uh, this, I just used a botanical page. It was very easy to make. Um, and uh, I thought it might be something fun I could share with you guys. So I, I just hold it together with a little paper clip because it does need some type of um, uh, thing to hold it together. So that's what I use, but you could do different things. You could do a little tie or something, but I thought for easy access, if somebody wanted to write notes, a little paper clip might be the perfect little thing. Okay, so let's get to it. First thing we are going to need is a book page and you can use any book page, but I am going to grab another one of those botanicals. Let me see. Let me see. What do I got? Okay. Let me just put prototype over here and uh, let's just pick out a pretty. Let's just pick out a pretty. Well, I don't know. Let's go maybe in the beginning. Um, okay. Well, let's use you. You're kind of pretty. Oh, you're very pretty. Maybe we'll use you. Oh, you're really pretty too. Okay. Remember I told you there's no reason to hold on to the good stuff anymore, people. <laughs> this is the time now, if it is ever. Pull out the good stuff and let's use it. Okay. So this book I have taken off the cover. Let me see if this, oh, here we go. It's the Concise British Flora in Color by Keeble Martin. There you go. If you're looking for the book, that's what it is. Okay. And my parent is in fine form today. He is Mr. Chatter Pants. Um, okay. So let me just make sure that this book is going to be wide enough. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's going to work. Okay. And I am just going to cut this raw chunky edge off with my guillotine, which is right over here. Okay. That's cut. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me back up a little bit so you can see a little better. Okay. There we go. All right. Now flip that over my shoulder. Um, okay. Let's move all this paper away and let's do some folding. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do like a gate fold like this. So we want to, you want to leave about a quarter of an inch. Yes, Holly. Yes, you do in the center. Yes. Mother's doing a video. Yes. It's so exciting. I know. <laughs> and maybe make sure those creases are nice and good. And then you're going to take this and you're going to fold it in half again. Okay. And you could use a regular book page, a magazine page will work. A uh, magazine page would actually work very nicely. I really need to use more magazine pages. I don't use them that often. Um, maybe because they're a little shiny. Maybe that's what it is, but they can definitely be used. Yep. Okay. Now this side, we are going to glue down and we're going to punch through. So I'm going to use a slot punch. You can use a regular um, paper punch. Both will work. It's just something to put your ribbon through, but I just, I kind of like this guy. Okay. And uh, now I'm going to glue this here. You know, getting this out, I'm getting the art glitter glue. It's a wet white glue that works well. It's got a cute little metal nib here. And if you're looking for any of the stuff that I make or uh, that I use, I, uh, their links are in my Amazon store and the link is down below the video, um, in the description drop box. Doo -doo 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 this just distributes a nice thin flow of glue. There we go. All right. So that, that side is sealed and I doubled up that side because I put the punch through. That's where the ribbons are going to go. But as you can see, yes, I have a little competition. Oh, somebody is making a little song. Oh, you guys are going to get to hear a song today. I don't think he's done that before on the videos. Not this much. He's, he's, he's feeling really good these days. I don't know what is, maybe he likes us being around so much. Maybe that's what it is. Um, so the punch only goes through the back half. Okay. Both sides of the back half, the front going to grab your handy dandy little ever always at the ready 
one inch circle punch. And you're going to punch about halfway, halfway down. Come on, I, I can do this. I can do this. Halfway down. <laughs> get in there. Okay. <laughs> halfway down. Get a good, good job. Oh, he's, he's singing to himself now. I don't know if you can hear that, but he's singing Hollywood. Okay. And uh, there we go. And the reason is you want to have the little thing exposed so that you can run your threads through it or your, your little magic yarns and things like that. And now, now we're going to ink her up. And I'm going to think I'm going to pull out a purple. I haven't used a purple in a while. That's kind of pretty. It's a seedless preserve. I think is a kind of a reddish color. Well, yeah, here we go. Here's my my makeshift at home little purple guy and I do have some purple on the front so I guess I can use purple and we're just going to go to town and we're going to ink up a storm so get ready here we're inking all right inking and we're inking and we're inking and we're going to town and we're inking <laughs> inking all the way around lots of inking to do on this you know inking is optional but I like to ink so here we go we're inking now I'm going to do the edge, like so, a little spine there, give me a little more showing, just give it a little extra rub. Okay, so we got the front pretty good, do, check the back, got the back pretty good. Inside, got to do the insides. <clears throat> I'm going to do some cheater inking, this is called cheater inking, yeah. It uh, gets the job done, and you don't mind that. And how are we doing that time? We're good. You can see. Let me know if you can't see. I'll readjust. You guys are quiet today. What's going on? Don't be shy. You can talk to me. Yeah, we're just sitting here hanging. Uh, so what's going on in your world? Are you, are you, you know, I know you're probably home. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Maybe you're an essential worker and you're out there working very hard and we are certainly appreciate your service very much. So thank you to that. Uh, but if you are home and you're playing with your craft stuff, or you're an essential worker who just needs to think about something else other than essential working, um, hey, I'm here for you. And I want to give you guys a place to come, relax, unwind, and have some fun. And uh, let's play with the papers today. Let's get in. Let's go deep. Let's go deep today. Okay. All right. Okay, now there's the fold in the middle. We want to do this, this kind of thing on the fold in the middle. Yeah, there we go. Let's just ink it all up really good. And that fold too, we want that one. Yes, Holly. Yes, you got quite a song going there. Yeah. Let's see if I can get him to talk. Um, okay, he talks when he wants to talk and not a second before or a second after. It's just, oh, he's singing now to himself. He likes his own name. He likes to sing his own name. My self-absorbed parrot <laughs> loves to sing to himself and use his own name. Oh, it's funny. Okay, so we have that. That was very easy, so. It's going to go like this. It's going to open up like that. And the very simple construction. Anybody can do this. And you just have to make sure that your page is wide enough to begin with. But a, like a wider book page will work best for this project. So now we're going to cut two strips of paper that will fit in here. So let me get a couple strips of paper. Any strips of paper will do. But if you have something, you know, pretty or cool or something, you know, kind of nice, that's that's extra special. And if not, you could take a let's just let's say we don't. And what could we do? Well, let's see. Let me get a piece of paper. Oh, any piece of paper. Hang on, let me get a piece of paper. Okay, I found this little uh, coffee dyed piece of paper. Maybe it's avocado dyed, I'm not 100% sure, but that's okay. Either way is fine. Uh, the other, this one, I used my guillotine cutter to cut those out to make them all nice. But I'm gonna try the tearing ruler and see how it does. And if it's disaster pants, I will I will cut it with the guillotine. All right, so let's see about how wide do we want to go. The old pencil, the old cheater way to measure here. I'm just going to put it in here where I want it to start. And then I know how far I want it to go over. And then I want, I know how far I want it to go down because I can see. So I'll make a little mark. I'll make, come on, pencil. Okay, can you see what I'm doing? I don't know. Um, okay, so I have that. Let's try this. Let's see how we do. Okay. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. Okay. All right, there's been a lot of creativity on this table today, let me tell you. Okay, we have that. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, we can do that. 
And then I think we're going to just, yeah, this, this tearing thing's working pretty good today. Yeah. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It just depends. All right, so let's see about how wide this is. We'll get one that's the same width, pretty close to it. Shoot. And we're going to go down to there. Da da da. Well, he loves to do the water sound. I don't know if you can hear him do that, but uh, I want to give him fresh water every day. Tell him, fresh water, Holly. Fresh water's coming. And uh, um, he mimics the water sound, he makes this drip sound. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so we have that. Oh, we need to take the roof off of this one. Maybe I can just take it off, it's perforated. Okay, there we go. And we should have two pieces that go, that nestle. They nestle in here. Can you see? Yeah, okay. <laughs> and, uh, um, all right, okay. Let me, uh, maybe we'll do some brown here. We want a little bit of different color. I'm using walnut stain distress oxide only because it was right in front of me and I thought that might be something fun to use it always seems to be right in front of me <laughs> the brown um, but I thought a little contrast from the, the purple might be nice and we're just gonna it the nice torn edge will pick up the ink very nicely it's a nice sharp torn edge if you use a metal ruler with a nice sharp edge okay there we go it's not officially a tearing ruler, but I call it a tearing ruler because I do, I tear with it more than anything. So it is my tearing ruler. Um, I have a bunch of fancy tearing rulers and I rarely grab them. Um, and uh, there's a lot of ways you can make your own tearing rulers by, you know, taking little pliers and clipping out some chunks out of a plastic ruler which I've seen uh, folks do on some videos and I think that's an awesome idea there's some real good creativity out there um, people are using their brains you know they're using their brains and they're coming up with stuff and it's really cool okay I think I'm going to put these down because I think that looks cool all right do I want to do I want to crumple them I feel like I want to crumple them I'm going to crumple them all right I crumple them we'll see what happens now when you're going to crumple you can do a crumple technique. You want to do firm crumple. None of this wimpy crumple. You want to, you know, serious crumple. Because it will pick up better when you run your dauber across it. There. You don't have to do a lot. Just a little. But it makes a nice little antique look. You know, that little vintage -y sort of pizzazz appeal. And... How are we doing here? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see one other thing i got to do. Oh, got to have this one going the right way. Okay, make sure everybody's in the little little U-boats here. Okay, there we go. We good? Now we gotta do more inking with the purple. Where'd the thing go? Who moved the purple dauber? Where'd you put it? Come on, don't hide it from me. No, that's the black one. Don't try and kid me. Here it is. I see it. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to I'm just gonna basically color this in with my dauber. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's gonna be covered. So it's okay if weird little circles and stuff show and stuff like that. It's not going to be too bad because, like I said, you won't be able to see it. Okay. You don't have to do this, but this is just fun. And we're going deep. I said we're going deep today, so we're going deep. We're pulling out the serious color. Okay. There we go. Get a little more around there. Okay. Now, a white would have been better, I think. But, uh, well, this is what we got. Okay. We're working with this today. Um, let's use the glue stick. All right, I got a Scotch Create glue stick glue stick here today. Hello, Scotch Create glue stick. Um, just my favorite glue stick. I'm using it. And there you go. All right. Well, let's put this down. Here it is. Do do do. I'm going to put it in the middle, hoping for the middle and it's down. There. And we don't sweat about it. Once it's down, it's just down. <laughs> and, uh, oh, no, don't glue the front of it, silly goose. All right, here we go. Down this way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no extra charge for the uh, free concert today. Yeah, that's right. It's a freebie. Yeah. And here we go. Down this goes. Mm hmm. Here we go. There we are. Okay, so this thing is coming together. Okay, it's starting to look like the other one a bit, huh? 
Yeah, no, the wrong color. Just give me a little more color at the top here. Yeah, let's kind of blend that all in. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, so we have that. Now, I think I would like to put a little... What time is it? Oh, we've got plenty of time. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, so I think I'd like to put a little... Maybe a... What do I got? So this is a flowery thing, so... Well, let me, let me find anything. How about... Uh, how about these leaves? Okay, I found a peg stamp. There we go. I'll get mine from Nora Jane um, on Etsy if you're looking for her. And uh, there. Oh, that's cute. Very cute. I'll turn it on this way. There. Oh, adorable. Okay, so a little focal point there. That's kind of nice. I like that. Um, all right, so I'm leaving these very thin so they can go into books. I'm not like putting a lot of stuff there. It's a very thin item, easily used in the book. Uh, in your book. Okay, so now what? Okay, so now we're going to put the threads on top. Let me go gather some pretty colored threads. Be right back. Okay, so I have secured some of this stuff. I guess it's a version of an eyelash trim and I've got tons of it. So I am going to use a bunch of it and we're going to do the old U slip knot trick. So I'm going to do that. Just going to fold it a bunch of times. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, should I fold it one more time? All right, let's try it. No, that's too much. That's too many folds. Back out. Retreat, retreat. Okay, let's see. Once, twice. Okay, now I'm going to grab the middle. Take the middle. And I'm going to, this is going to be a little tricky, but I'm going to see if I can do it. I'm going to shove the middle through this hole. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. Yeah, I got it. Okay, then I'm going to find the middle of all the middles. And then I'm going to grab its tail and pull it through. There we go. Now we have that. Yep. And uh, I don't think that's going to go back. If you feel like it's going to slide back out on you, you can always put a little bit of glue there at the top. A little fabric fix or something should anchor that in place, which I think I might. I feel some translation going on here and I can one-handedly open the fabric fix. Yes. I am super inked up today. Been making lots of things, having lots of random fun out here today. Reckless abandon, running amok. Um, okay, there we go. Ah, uh, there. Okay, so I'll just there. There we go. What glue, right? And maybe I will trim this just a smidge a bit. Maybe just give it a little angle. There. Okay. How's that? I have that there. That's kind of cool. What's something weird's going on over here? What's going on there? Wait, if you're like you're half on, you need to go. Bye. Well, oh, you're half on too. Go. Bye. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now we have this, and that closes up, and then that will not impede the tail. We don't never want your tail impeded. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Um, okay. And there's some pretty purples and things like that in there. So I thought they might go. I don't know if it goes, but it's, it's going today. <laughs> okay. So we just need a few droplets on the front and a little tiny paper clip. And this is pretty much wrapped up and done. So let me find a cute little paper clip. How about uh, you? Okay. Well, no, I don't think so. I think I've a better one down here. Not there. Here. Yeah, here. Start digging, Pam. You know it's here somewhere. Oh, I got a lot in here. I did a bunch of uh, alcohol dyeing of the paper clips. And uh, there's one. Okay. It's a bigger one, but it'll work. I think it goes. Ah! What happened? Sorry. Scared myself. I knocked over a piece of wood. Hang on. Let me retrieve it. All is fine. No injury to life. No souls were lost. Okay, everything's fine. Okay, that one I can put on a little angle. That's cute, right? Okay, so now let's... Uh, oh, see that? I forgot to reclose my my uh, art glitter glue. There you go, back in you. All right, here we go. We're looking for some colors. Let's see, that's a pretty color. That might look nice on there. Um, let's try that. I wonder where my prototype went. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay. Here's, so here's prototype. Oh, this one's a lot longer. I forgot to trim it. That's okay, though. Oh, well, let's see. Oh, balderdash. I forgot to trim it. That's okay. I think I can nip the whole bottom off and it'll be just fine. So, oops. Oh, oh hang on. 
Oh, and I rounded the edges. So let's make you about the same length. So I just have a, a guide here. You could have a super long one, but that might be a little extra super long. Okay, here we go. And we're cutting. Probably should have used the longer scissors. Oh, well, there we go. And we're through. So let's use our rounder, our corner chomper. Get some cute little corners going here. I'll re-ink those so it all looks good. There we go. And here, can you see? Yep, okay. Okay, so now purple dauber in play. All right, you do your thing. You make yourself all purple. Check the back, make sure you got the back. Look, that's, that's caught on there again. Come on, let go. <laughs> Uh, the cyber gremlins are not even, they're not cyber gremlins, but they're little gremlins on the table that are not even hiding themselves. They are just running amok today. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, so we have that one and this one. Now this one I use white dots, and I think this one I'm going to use these pinky, This what color is this? Flamingo. Flamingo liquid pearls. And I'm going to put some uh, flamingo drops on here. Yeah, just for the heck of it. Just think that would look cute. Down up. Down up, down up, down up is the technique. Down up, down up, down up, down up. Oh, got an extra blotch there. That's okay. Sometimes you get in there quick, you can fix it. And sometimes not. Let's see. Oh, losing the thumbnail. Oh, I'm just going to remove the whole thing. Okay, I, I can remove most of it. I'll just put a new one down. That's how you get out of that little situation. Okay, what else do we have? We have some more flowers here. Oh, can you see? Yeah, okay. Let me move all this stuff. All right, you you need a lid. You need a lid. You look bare naked without your lid. Okay, there you go. That looks nice on there. I think I like that. And uh, some people like are, like bling, and others are like, no, no, no bling, thank you very much. Um, and that's fine. That's totally fine. It's totally up to you. Um, you can just do some lines here, maybe just following the line of the plant. And. Uh, what else? Maybe go around this one. If the, the color doesn't match, you don't have to uh, uh, put the dots right on it. You could just follow it. Yeah, just for some eye interest. Maybe just at the bottom of this one. Around that side. Okay, just random. I'm just doing random pants here. Why is everything pants? <laughs> I have no idea. Who started that? Where'd that come from? I'm sure, I'm sure I got it from somebody. Um, okay. Uh, there we go. That looks like a pot leaf, <laughs> doesn't it? Maybe not. Uh, that was a long time ago, <laughs> so I don't remember. <laughs> I'm claiming the fifth. Um, okay, so there you go. And I'm going to be very careful. I'm not going to touch them. But then again, this opens up, and that's what you have. So I'm going to close the... Oop. Nope, I touched it. Yep, I did. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me replace that one dot that I smudged. I smudge them, I fudged it. Yeah, how about that? Okay, there we go. And I'm going to very gingerly replace the paper clip in the one spot it can go. So this will dry nice whoop, and flat. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you can dry. I'll probably put a smaller paper clip. I think a smaller one would work better here. But there you have the two examples and uh, you can top them with anything you like. Um, you know, strings and ribbons and threads and yarns and all sorts of fun stuff. So I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed this little process. It's a very quick and easy one that anybody can do. And if you enjoyed this and had found value, please like, subscribe and share. Make sure to sign up for my uh, newsletter, which will give you the free checklist of junk journal supplies, basic and advanced, along with a note from the bookmaker that help explains, helps explain what a junk journal is for uh, your recipients of journals. Um, check out my Amazon store for favorites, tools and supplies. Videos come out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. Saturday at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, my podcasts are on Tuesdays and Thursdays. My playlists are linked down below and at the end of most videos. And I am found on Instagram, Etsy, Pinterest, and Twitter, and LinkedIn, and Facebook. And come and join our Facebook group. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun people making fun things with junk journals, showing techniques, explaining things, uh, showing ideas. We do weekly and monthly challenges. It's a lot of fun. And remember that, uh, oh, I have um, vintage ephemera digital kits. If you want to explore those, I have them on my Etsy shop come and check them out and remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon everybody go have fun you deserve it take care bye bye